this is Jay. Coming at you loud. Coming at you hot. Today, it's just you, me, and Crunt, my alter ego in Bloodborne. And we're going to take on Ludwig the Accursed. And he's a real tough motherfucker. Now, the thing I think a lot of people miss in doing or taking care of this guy is that there is a summoning point for an NPC co-op. And if you go to the Forbidden Woods and take the oath for um, uh, Ma or Master Valter of the League and equip his, I believe it's the Impurity Rune, you'll be able to summon him here. But if you don't have the rune equipped, you will not see the summoning point. That's where I think a lot of people miss it. And, you know... Souls elitists will argue that you need to be able to take on every single boss solo and be able to defeat it, but this one is so hard. And I'm in the new game quadruple plus game cycle that he has just become unmanageable solo. He's harder than Orphan of Cause solo, and that's really saying something. So I'm going to have Valter get my back. And he is going to take most of the damage. He's going to use his massive health pool to distract, well, to take the damage and distract this guy. Now, I'm using the Tenitris to knock out this guy first in this first phase because it's fast and you don't have to waste bolt paper. Ooh. This guy is crazy. You need to try to let him stay focused on Valter, but without killing Valter. Because if you're left alone in this fight, it's probably not going to go well. I can assure you of that. I've, I've been there. Whoa. That was a nasty attack. Gosh, he's wailing on me. Um, he doesn't usually do that much of an attack. That was horrible. Um, but yes, you can see this fight can just... Get bad real, really quickly. So, watch out for this. That is the dash attack. And that is a really easy way to get one shot. Um, I had a theory in the beginning that the only way for that to happen was by distancing yourself from him. But no, he'll just do it whenever the hell he feels like it. The other attack you got to look out for, well, this one is pretty easy to avoid. But, ooh, see that? It's his overhead attack. Now, sometimes he lingers in the air. He'll stay up there for what seems like a really long time, and you'll see a blood trail dripping from the ceiling. I almost lost Valter. Um, damn, that dash attack. You'll see a blood trail dripping from the ceiling, and that is how you can triangulate his location. It's still hard to avoid, but at least they give you something to be able to detect where, he, where the hell he is. Oh! God, I hate that attack. That is a dirty attack. Oh, and so is this. Woo, he almost one-shot me. Oh, man, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, see, that's the one-shot one. Ooh, this is nasty. Real nasty. Oh, boy. Come on, wail on him, wail on him, wail on him, wail on him. All right, now... This boss is unique in that I think he's the only boss in Bloodborne that has a cutscene between his phases. In this phase, he becomes Ludwig the Holy Blade. And he stands upright and wields his Holy Moonlight Sword. Which you get if you defeat him. This phase is a little more manageable, but what you have to watch out for is getting fenced in. Like, when you're dodging, avoid getting stuck on walls or fences, anything like that. Because he's pretty dodgeable at this point. He's going to use wave attacks with his sword that I believe are arcane-based. Because that's how the weapon works for you. Alright. So, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and switch ooh, to the, ironically, his holy blade. Because its charge attack is much safer during this phase. And will enable you to get some big damage on him. But watch out! 
Oh, oh, oh. There we go. That's a good sign. Oh, that's great. Um, if you can visceral him, go for it. Okay, watch out now. This, that's a, I think it's a buffing attack. I'm not sure. Um, but that's a pretty nasty attack. Watch out. Watch out. Keep your health up at this point. And don't let him kill Valter. If you can just avoid letting Valter die, you'll be at a really good spot. Oh boy, I spoke too soon. Um, I have let Valter die. So, with that in mind, I am going to switch to some... Ooh, this guy sucks! He really fucking sucks. Um, hopefully I can take him out. Here. There we go. He's done. All right. That's how you do it. I thank you guys for watching. And I wish you luck on this horrible boss.